morning. Welcome to Silver Solutions Radio. Our mission is to bring information to seniors, disabled adults, and their family caregivers about healthy aging and long-term care. It feels like a very long time since we've been together, doesn't it, Jim? It has been a long time. It's great to be in the studio. We said Mark is here, and um, this is our social outlet today. Yep. So our co-hosts today are Jim Wojciechowski, and I'm Kathy Wetters. And um, we're just just really blessed to be here. Amen. Well, social distancing is a good thing. This pandemic, uh, feeling isolated isn't. Our sponsor, Right at Home, can help you stay safe at home with meals, errands, light housekeeping, or personal care, uh, care uh, including hygiene. And let me include one one thing, companionship. Yeah, yeah. So um, dressing and ambulation. Um, call today at 877-ELDER-99, 877-353-3799, and we'll get a qualified caregiver out to see you. Cool. So uh, we need your help today to get the word out about two worthwhile projects um, from right at home. Um I know if you haven't heard it enough, our show is really basically today about, you guessed it, COVID-19. We think there's two very worthy projects that that folks would um, uh, benefit from getting involved in. And it would, one is uh, because someone I love is a senior t-shirt campaign for Red Cross. And we'll tell you more about that in a minute. And then the second is, uh, it was just launched yesterday here in Chicagoland, is free daily call service for isolated seniors where um, someone from right at home will would call for free. And we'll talk about that more in a minute. Um, and then later in the show, we're going to have some other kind of, uh, some of it you heard before, which is worth repeating, and some maybe will be new, um, kind of advice for us as we all shelter in place. So... Uh, let's start off talking about the senior t-shirt. You know, this is such a, a cool idea and it's, um, uh, you know, it's about the people being most affected um, by the COVID-19 uh, virus, which mm-hmm. is our uh, senior community. Uh, anybody over 60, I'm not saying that anybody else isn't at danger right. uh, or in danger, um, but um, the senior population has really taken a, the, 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 the brunt of mm-hmm. this um, uh, whole pandemic. Mm-hmm. And so um, um, the cool thing is, is this is, uh, this is titled because someone I love is a senior t-shirt campaign and it's sponsored by the Red Cross. And um, um, what it is, it's to uh, build awareness and help uh, help the American Red Cross uh, build aware, awareness of COVID-19. And um, I'm sure our families have all talked about it, especially with Easter just passing. Um, there were a lot, a lot of uh, lonely families out there. Mm-hmm. Um, there are uh, uh, several things that uh, they've done, but still all the people aren't getting the word, uh, the word out. So right. this T-shirt is a great idea, although the coronavirus uh, uh, presents an unprecedented challenge to us all. It also expires us to extend the help and kindness to others in need. Mm-hmm. Um, we would love you to join us uh, to raise awareness about helping our senior communities during this pandemic. Mm-hmm. Um, get a because someone I uh, I love is a senior t-shirt and wear it to spread the word on how you can help uh, keep seniors and your community healthy. $5 from every t-shirt sold will go to the American Red Cross, which is trying to maintain its blood bank supplies during the critical uh, this critical time and as well continue uh, uh, to continue to fund its disaster relief program. And this is the biggest disaster mm-hmm. that our country has been through since the Spanish flu, um, mm-hmm. I remember World War II, um, uh, World War One and Two were were uh, total um, uh, events that affected our nation. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't remember one in my lifetime that affected it like this. Right, right. So what we would like everybody to do 
is order this t-shirt today, uh, which again helps the American Red Cross. Uh, visit iloveasenior.com to order. Yeah. And um, the t-shirt's $10, right? $10, and five of the $10 goes to uh, the Red Cross, so half of it goes to the Red Cross. Yeah. What a great idea. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm going to order mine today, and then at my next Costco or Walmart run, I'm going to wear it. Cool. I love a senior.com to order. Great, great. So our, our second um, thing we'd like to get the word out about today is it actually, it was launched by the right at home, uh, the eight right at home owners in Chicagoland yesterday. And we're pretty excited. It's a new free program for individuals living alone to help combat the effects of loneliness, isolation, and depression while we all shelter in place. The fear and anxiety caused by this deadly virus results in people not wanting to leave the safety of, her, of their home for even essential items like food and medicine. Others not knowing who to contact or how to access the options available to them like home delivery. Uh, seniors suffer from this lack of support. So under the new program, someone from one of our eight right at home offices in Chicagoland will call a homebound individual or couple to see how they're doing. Often just talking to someone outside our home can help provide some calming reassurance of normalcy mm -hmm. that someone does care and mm -hmm. is available to provide information to keep them safe and healthy. So all you have to do is um, if you've got a, um, if you're calling for yourself or a friend or a neighbor or a relative that you think would during these trying times would benefit from a daily call. You just need to call right at home at our um, toll-free number, 877-ELDER-99. That's 877-353-3799. And a volunteer will call daily um, the person that you you uh, give the the contact information for and uh, and have a check in and a wellness check. So it's it's a it's a win win all around. So please start calling them today. Yeah, this would be a great um, uh, time, you know, um, to be able, especially someone reaching out. And uh, I just remember um, uh, the Elgin police were just on just before we are yep. watching out for scams. This is not a scam. It is not. Okay. No, so no. so we want uh, to ensure everybody this is uh, only a wellness check. Okay. And it's a time for um, uh, just uh, somebody from right at home, uh, one of our volunteers, uh, to uh, check on uh, your friend or your mom and uh, just have a nice conversation with them and see how they're doing. So, um, uh, and with that being said, if we have anybody out there listening today, okay, and uh, uh, you're a senior, uh, please give us a call. We'll talk to you for a second at 877-931-1410. That's 847-931-1410. Or just to say how, you know, how you're holding up under, under this time. We'd love to hear from you. Mm -hmm. um, uh, one of the blog posts on the Right at Home website is entitled Avoid Loneliness During Social Distancing. And, they, and the article has some really good hints. And as ironic as it is, the first thing is set up regular phone calls. And, and it's a family, which we, we've been trying to do this in our family um, remotely throughout the United States. I've been talking to relatives that I haven't talked to in a long time. You know, we've just been checking in. It's been pretty neat. So schedule these regular calls at the same time or on the same days and just, just kind of check in with each other. Um, letter writing or sending a car, that's, that's a great thing to do. You know, um, we this old art of letter writing is, just seems like a dying art right now. Uh, and it is. Um, but emailing still out there. Yeah. Um, but sending out cards, especially, uh, digital cards, are always a joy to send out. Yeah, they are. They are. Um, you know, one of the exciting things about um, what has been uh, going on, one of the good news is mm -hmm. um, that a lot of seniors are learning how to use digital technology yes, to communicate. Yeah, in, like, in fact, I think well, all of us are. We are. Have you used Zoom? Zoom. I Zoomed with my... Uh, uh, son and daughter-in-law in, in Virginia last week, and they're got they're expecting a baby. So we were trying out the technology, so that because we can't be there uh, after the baby's born at the hospital with them, so 
they're, we're going to have a Zoom meeting and see little Amelia when she's born next week, hopefully. <laughs> Which is so exciting. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, with our families, in fact, we had a, uh, uh, we I uh, had a uh, pre-Easter Zoom meeting because oh. uh, uh, our son's a uh, fireman. Yeah. So he he, uh, he was working on Easter, so he couldn't Zoom. So we had a pre-Easter Zoom meeting. Cool. Um, oh, uh, uh, um, and it was just great to see everybody. Of course, my grandson loved it because he's a ham and you put him out in front of a camera. And uh, But but that really helped. Uh, uh, I don't know where he got art. that from. I have no idea. <laughs> From his mom, Amanda, and you, right? Yeah, and I wonder that the apple didn't fall too far it from the tree did, did in not. either case. <laughs> it did not. So FaceTime, Zoom, um, you know, uh, Facebook Messenger, those are all great things. Yep, Skype. Yep, Skype, yep. So another one that was new to me, Jim, I don't know if, if, if you're familiar with it or Mark, is Netflix Party. I understand if one person has Netflix through this little app, you can invite others to stream and see what you're watching on net Netflix, and then you can chat about it while you're all watching it. This, this, this Netflix. Really? I so, have not heard about yeah, that. Yeah. Me net, either, but I don't. Yeah. Uh, doesn't surprise me though. No, net, that would be uh, that, that would right. be. Uh, so it's like you're watching a movie with a group of friends. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So all virtually Netflixparty.com. That was a new one, but it sounds pretty neat. Mm-hmm. And so you can talk to her in the movie without anybody yelling at you. Yeah, you can chat. Oh. Just chat. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think that's cool. You know, type it in. Yep. And then uh, all sort. you talked about, Jim, you know, YouTube. There's all sorts of online activities. And then there's some meetup options if you kind of search for those. Um, some of the libraries are closed, for example. So they point out, you know, like at, out in Omaha, they have a Zoom event at the Omaha Book Club. As part of, as in lieu of going to the library, so that was awful. that was great. You know, I I had uh, heard yesterday there there are all kinds of streaming things that you can be uh, wa- watching. Or was that yesterday? No, no, that was Easter Sunday. I, mm-hmm. So many um, creative ways of being able to make it through um, this pandemic. I, it just amazes me. They had probably the world's greatest um, singer out of Italy doing a show at the cathedral that he was supposed to. uh And this was, it was all over the news. I guess they streamed it live and, um, you know, what a blessing. Nobody, nobody actually, um, unless you go to Italy, sees this guy and he, he doesn't do any, um, uh, TV or anything else. And he streamed his voice live, uh, live over uh, the internet. And Jim, we got one, one neat handout too that you, I think can also be downloaded from the website. Um, it's 10, 10 ways to protect you and senior loved ones from COVID-19. Now, some of this is going to be like singing to the choir. You've heard it a million times. And if you have any other ideas, you give us a call at oh, 877-931-1410. Yeah. Well, the first thing we got to do, okay, like we're what we're doing mm-hmm. here, we're doing proper social distancing. We're six feet away. So yep. avoid crowds. Yeah. That's a biggie, just a biggie. Mm-hmm. And then, better yet, stay home. Stay home, <laughs> yeah. So, so we were cooking. I was cooking uh, Easter dinner. It's just Brian and I, and um, had the front door open. And I see these. We're on a side street over. We live in a subdivision between Geneva and Elbert, and a side a side street. So it's not a well traveled road we live on. And in front come these. Tray up this Easter parade of cars. They're blowing their horns. They're playing music. They've got costumes on. It just brightened the day to see this this uh, Easter parade of cards. You know, there's like, all cool. kinds of even with social distancing. There can yep. be, uh, there, you can have a lot of fun out there. Yep. So they weren't you know hurting anyone, and they were they were not mm-hmm. six feet apart. Yep. Um, you know, one of the things that I have a problem with is touching my face. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know if every, anybody else has. I, mm-hmm. I, I I don't know why that is, but I, even I can learn new tricks. So yeah. do you find yourself now with your hand on your way to I, the face I, saying, yeah. uh, nope. yeah, yeah. I stop it yeah. all the time. You know, they have too. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it is just amazing how many times you want to touch your face, whether it's to rub your forehead, keep your hands away from your face. Yep. 
Yeah. So um, every once in a while, it still makes it there. But for the most part, uh, yeah, I've yeah. been able to cut myself off. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with the holes in your in your head, like your mouth or your eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it, it's so hard. I was because uh, we still, you know, go out to homes mm -hmm. um, as needed. And I was taking some PPE yesterday to a home and there was a caregiver there uh, that uh, a live in caregiver for the family, not not with our agency, but but a private caregiver. And I went to shake her hand, you know, just like, like, like and I'm like, then I caught myself. It's like, no, oh. my hand back. <laughs> and, uh, and it's like, and then we both just like step back a moment. It's like, yep. Yep. So we just talked, but that's so those habits are so hard to break. This, this uh, and, and they and are, stuff. I'm yeah. a hugger. So this has been extremely hard for me. Yeah, yeah. And this hand washing, um, I'm not a big user of like lotion on the hands, but boy, the top of the hands are all dry out. So, you know, this washing them for with soap and water for 20 seconds is needed, but boy, the skin, you need just a little lotion maybe on that yeah. skin You're, afterwards. Yeah. And you do need the lotion. Yeah. My hands are have never been so dry. Mark, thank you guys uh, here at WRMN for having um, these utilities here. In fact, yes. um, um I think uh, WR Men has the only bottle of Perel left in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Wait, with so, some Lysol wipes here, and I know I uh, I I you know use the Perel um, to just uh, sanitize my hands because I I've been out. You know, we we're touching mm -hmm. things that we haven't um, don't know where they've been. And how many things do you touch? Yeah, a that day you, that you didn't realize before yes. this whole thing right. started. Yes. And you know what? I have to point it myself. I was sitting there judging somebody yes, the other day in Walmart, and they were sitting there touching everything on the shelf. Yeah. You know what I was doing with them? Touching everything on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so it's hard. It's hard. You want to see, you want to see what's there, but be very careful. And whatever you do, all the, all, a lot of stores, WR men was kind enough to have uh, this stuff here today. When you see this stuff, wash your hands, yep. sanitize your hands. Yep. I was having one of these reach out, reach out a couple of times with one of my, some of my cousins in Atlanta. And, um, uh, she was saying that um, she had went to Walmart to get groceries and she wheeled down, she had her PPE on, her mask, her gloves. She wheels down this aisle and there's two men parked in the middle of the aisle and cheers. One of them would say, this whole thing is a hoax. And she said, <laughs> whatever I was going to get on that aisle, I decided I get that it just went on for my mental hygiene, you know, and something <laughs> else. But it's like some people. So the symptoms, how about those? Fever, coughing, difficulty breathing, breathing, and fatigue. Those are the ones they tell us to watch for and take that temperature daily. I know our clients, we encourage our clients and caregivers both to take their temperature every day. Uh, twi twice a day. We have them do it the day they were, they're going to work, and we have them do it when they leave the uh, client. So, uh, you know, it's something that I know all of our uh, Chicago right at homes. In fact, I'm yeah. sure all of our right at homes uh, nationwide and globally are doing the same thing. Everything. And those thermometers, um, I didn't know how many folks did not have thermometers until this, this occurred. Isn't that amazing? It's really tough to get them to. Yes. Um, yes. Surely is. So, and then obviously call that doctor if you have any symptoms and mm -hmm. see if the, if you need to go in or a lot of folks are having like Zoom meetings with their doctor too and things not going to the office. And uh, Another great mm -hmm. thing about <laughs> what happened here is that um, a doctor's visits are, now you won't even have to go to the doctor's office um, because a lot of tele, uh, telemed uh, right, they're coming online. Uh, are Big, coming online, yep. and I know we have talked about that for as long as we've been in the industry. Right, uh, that this was coming along. We got. I don't know if you, you, any of you saw, but we got a phone call and then a follow up email from somebody. It was one of these benefits companies that was selling different benefits to small businesses. But one of the aspects they had was for like something like twenty bucks a month, a person could sign up for this telehealth network where if you got sick and you needed to talk to someone you would just call and a doctor te te telephonically this doctor would you know you'd have a, a like a zoom type meeting and this doctor would diagnose what they thought you know you should do next but you 
that was pretty reasonable. Um, I, and that is very yeah. reasonable. I know there has been a doctor in uh, Kansas, uh, actually several doctors out mm -hmm. there trying, uh, before this all happened, trying to find out a cost-effective way to offer health care. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are so many um, interesting and um, effective ways to do it. And telehealth is one of the ways. In fact, mm -hmm. I have already heard uh, of nurses using their phone cameras as they go these are home health nurses yeah um videotaping like wounds and and yeah. basically showing doctors over uh, over a mm -hmm. uh, a media platform what it looks like and everything else so they can they can make a, a, a better diagnosis so so it's brought out kind of a fuller utilization of all that home health have to bring all all of technology yeah. mm -hmm. yes cool. Um, you know what? We all have to take steps of avoiding um, the virus. Um, when you sneeze, don't look at somebody and sneeze over their head. Okay. <laughs> um, please cover your mouth. Um, uh, and um, they, they even suggest don't use your hands, cough into your, your arm. Um, um, uh, coughing, the same with coughing. Um, make sure that you're always covering, the, covering your mouth when this stuff happens. And um, um, yeah. let's see, um, other steps you can take. Make sure you, you know, when you're out and about, when you're at Walmart and you come home and you're putting groceries away, take a Lysol wipe if you have them. Clean the packages before you put them away. Okay, is a good way. Yep. Make sure all your counter spaces, wherever you put stuff, is clean. Mm -hmm. uh, just, you know, make yourself be aware that this is a little different time yep. in the world today. Yep. Now, Jim, we got some other good hints from the Red Cross. Um, it's, I think, this one. No, it's the other one. It's the other one closer to you. So, um, they have some really good hints about sheltering and when we're sheltering at home, you know, we get to feeling things are like, well, is this normal for me to feel this way or not normal? And so some of the, the symptoms that um, they, they think we, we, we just need to start realizing that we might, it's normal for us to feel these things. Um, one would be, you know, fear about running out of our essential supplies. Like we hear a lot about toilet paper, right? You know, so it's just normal to fear running out of stuff. You know, we, we, um, when, when we talked about, you know, the, the pork producers not having, uh, you know, folks getting sick and not, when I heard Smithfield ham, you know, Smithfield meats might have, may have some shortages. I'm like, I went to the freezer. I'm like, do we have, do we have any pork chops? You know, I love pork. So it's normal to feel this, this fear. But we mm -hmm. have to overcome it and just be reasonable inside. In the United States, we're going to be okay. We, we we really do. It's just give it time, and whatever you need, it will eventually come. I there, think. there yeah. we go. Yep. Um, pay attention to yourself. I do you have an anxiety, particularly about being separated from your loved ones? Uh, people get lonely, but yeah, uh, people are afraid right now. And, you know, some, uh, I got to thinking about this. I had a conversation before this happened a few, a month ago with a family and the loved one had dementia and the, she naturally has uh, anxiety about, you know, the time and the age of her, even her adult children fades. This must be the fact that she can't see now, maybe, um, the adult children and whatnot that she she normally would has to be just making her anxiety even worse and, and more stressful for her family caregiver, her spouse. So it's, I thought about her often. I'm like, wonder what's going on with her. That, yeah, and what a, uh, you know, uh, we, we're in this business mm -hmm. because it's a it's a heart business. So yeah, Kath, as you're describing that, I'm thinking of um, uh, one of our members of our church. Uh, he's been uh, just uh, uh, his wife has uh, had. Um, uh, Alzheimer's now, um, and she's late stage Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. and she had to go to the hospital, and they've been separated, mm -hmm. and she is just so afraid. I, and the hospital was just great about this because, uh, again, technology came in. Um, the only person mm -hmm. that she does recognize is her husband. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, so they were able to Zoom, and it was um, uh, something. So thank you, uh, yeah, uh, you know, a hospital, uh, the people in the hospitals out there, our nurses and stuff, mm-hmm. for re- really paying attention to things like that. Right. You know, a lot of the long-term care facilities need to kind of shelter in place and mm-hmm. have lockdown for visitors to keep the vulnerable residents uh, safe. Mm-hmm. So another one, we this caught a lot of airplay in the last 24 hours, uncertainty about how long you will need to shelter at home. Uh, that's a tough one, and it's getting a lot of debate mm-hmm. lately. Yeah, yeah. Uh, concerns of your physical safety and that of others. That's a that, that's a big one for us. In fact, when this whole the whole thing first started, um, um, I had to go away for a weekend, and uh, the the shutdowns and shelter in place wasn't effective. There. But I I knew my wife was going to be alone, so um, I I did some prep uh, prep with her about how to keep herself stay, safe because we didn't know what was going to go on here. Right, right. And fi- we all have this fear of getting sick. You know, you, you wake, like you wake up in the morning and your nose is running. It's like, oh, is this a cold or is yeah. this normal? And you're like, oh <laughs> yes. no, this is normal. I do yeah. this every morning. It's you, not you here, swallow you know. and you go, wow, <laughs> is that a sore throat? You yeah. sneeze yes. or you cough or anything yeah. and suddenly you wonder, uh, Oh boy, am I getting it? Uh, no, it's spring. Yeah, and this happens every Allergies, spring. You know, right. so yeah. it's just normal. Now, if it keeps on happening or it gets worse, maybe it's a different. Yeah. You know, then it's something to consider. But, and and we're all just hardworking Americans, and this is the guilt of not being able to go out and fulfill our responsibilities mm-hmm. to and do the things we need need to do on a daily basis: work, parenting needs, caring for our dependents. It's very, it eats us up that we're not able to go do these things. You know? Oh, yeah. and boredom and isolation are the worst. I find myself yawning and want to go to bed at 7 o'clock because I am <laughs> just bored. But you mentioned the, the the technological advances that have come about over yeah. the years in social media mm-hmm. and how sometimes we bash social media for being used too much when it shouldn't yeah, yeah. be. But now yeah. it's really become important. It's a need, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's, become, it's become a tool, and I think it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. And this thoughts of blame or worry or fear, they just creep on, they just creep on in, in. Mm-hmm. and in one of the, one of the worries is losing your income. And that's a mm-hmm. real big one in our United mm-hmm. States right now. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. And, um, wow. Uh, that, that is very worrisome. Um, fearing, uh, a fear of being, uh, stigmatized or labeled by, by this Ill- illness. If, if you do become sick and we see this in our, in our business, we sure do. We sure so do. So we got to yep. be careful. Yep. So Kath, why don't you run through the coping tips real quick? So they're, you know, stay connected, um, remain informed. It's that's an easy, easy one to achieve. Monitor your own, your physical needs and those of your loved ones. Eat healthy, exercise. Um, you know, like take that dog for a walk. It's a win-win. Everybody loves that. I know our dog does. Hold an image in your mind of the best possible outcome. Think about the future. Don't think about right now, but think about that day that we're all going to be able to That's go out right. and do things later on. This too shall pass. Right. And if you're if you're religious or spiritual, fall back on those things you learned, you know, as you were coming up and practice those. Amen. So, yep, yep. So are we about out of time here, Mark? Are yeah, we, I guess yeah. that's about it. Okay, alrighty. Not all heroes wear capes. A lot of them wear scrubs and provide essential care to the vulnerable seniors, helping them stay safe at home. Make a difference by becoming a caregiver. Call and apply today at Right at Home. We need you. Today's show is sponsored by Right at Home. They're ready to serve your individual needs during the time of uns- this time of uncertainty. A few hours, a couple of day- times a week, or for respite, or 24-7 fits your needs. Caregivers are trained in COVID-19 safety protocols and practice. Let them know if you can help, if they can help you. 877-ELDER-99. Don't go away. The Radio Shopping Show is coming up next. <laughs> 